my lips are not dry they're still very yummy and supple and hydrated hi guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel my name is husna and in today's video we're going to be taking off my makeup so in previous videos i have been showing you how to do your makeup but today we want to know how to take it off and how to properly take care of your skin after applying makeup so first things first i like to go in with micellar water and i am using the Garnier skin active micellar cleansing water and this has rose water plus glycerin this is meant to remove your makeup and to gently cleanse as well so i use this and i also have some cotton pads um, with me here so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna take a cotton pad and i'm gonna put some of the micellar water on here make sure it's soaked very well and then I'm gonna start removing my makeup so just like so that is working so well when that side is done make sure you uh, switch to the other side so you can get a good use out of your cotton pads sometimes we apply foundation to our neck so we can match our face uh, shade to our neck so make sure you go on there as well just to make sure you have no makeup left at all for my eyes, um, if you had mascara on, I recommend taking a clean cotton pad, putting on some of that micellar water on there, and then just apply some pressure and swipe. As you can see, there's some mascara on my cotton pad and a bit of foundation and concealer from the eye area. So I like to do that on both sides so I can get the mascara off of my eye. This will be more difficult difficult if you use a waterproof mascara or waterproof eye products like eyeliner. Um, in that case, I like to use a cleansing balm or an oil cleanser first so that we can really get into removing that makeup. But for now, I'm liking how this is going. Next, we're going to move on to my mouth. So on the other side of the cotton pad, I'm just going to remove all that gloss, all that lip liner that I had on there. So to cleanse my face, I like to go in with the La Roche-Posay um, Hydrating Cleanser. This is the Hydrating cle uh, Gentle Cleanser. It has ceramides, it has niacinamides. It is sulfate uh, free and it has it has no fragrance at all so we first went in with the micellar water as you just saw but you want to make sure there's no makeup at all left on your face so you're gonna wash your your, your face with warm water and um, a cleanser like this one I love going in with this cleanser because my face is generally dry so when you go in with a hydrating cleanser it's not gonna foam up a lot but it's still gonna cleanse and it will not strip off the oils off your face so that's why i like my hydrating cleanser so i'm just gonna go wash my face in the sink with this and i'll be right back and we're back i just cleansed my face using the la roche posay like i said my face feels still hydrated but it feels very clean i love that about the la roche posay um cleanser we're then gonna go in with the acne uh toner this is from peach slices um it is a bha plus aha um toner it exfoliates your skin this is an example of a chemical exfoliator and it helps to prevent breakouts it tightens your pose and this 
specific product is very clean and non-toxic so i really really love that about this product i usually use it when i'm having breakouts like right now it's almost that time of the month my girl is no you get a breakout here and there and they're actually very painful but yeah so i use this toner i take a pad a cotton pad put some on there and then just use that all over my face so the next steps are gonna be focused on hydration you need to bring some hydration back into the skin so this um, in this step we're gonna use the snail mucin from Cosarex this is an essence and it basically brings back hydration into my face it has a very weird sticky formula but trust me this has been my holy grail i'm actually almost done with this bottle this is like my third or fourth bottle it is that good just gonna go directly on my face and do you see that texture this is what i mean and that's the reason why it's snail mucin it has a very very weird texture make sure you apply it but also go in with tap in motion so that you can make sure the product goes or seeps into your skin in this step we're gonna use um a serum i like to use niacinamide and i use this one from the ordinary this has 10 percent niacinamide and one percent zinc this has also been that holy grail product that helps me deal with hyperpigmentation it helps to reduce the appearance of pores and yeah i just love how it works or how it looks under makeup as well so that is a plus so i just put that in those areas where i want to target my hyperpigmentation and that's on my cheeks on my forehead around my mouth area and anywhere that i need to reduce the appearance of pores so i'm just gonna go apply it with the applicator directly on my face and then we're just gonna rub it in like that so the reason why i rub in my products is just to spread it out but immediately after rubbing it in i like to pat it into my skin and this just applies for all your products i want to say except moisturizer maybe you'd want to like rub it in and make sure you're getting all the hydration that you need we're already getting glowy i love how this looks so far the next step is moisturizer i like to use this one from uh, peach slices it is the acne moisturizer and just like the toner it has niacinamide and hyaluronic acid it is silicone free so it has a clean and non-toxic formula i love this moisturizer so far i'm actually almost done um with this one but any hydrating moisturizer works i would um say that the cerave um with your hydrating moisturizer also works i used to use that a lot you don't have to spend hundreds of dollars to get a moisturizer that actually works anything that gives you hydration anything that is fragrance free that's usually a bonus point and um since it's winter something that's actually heavy and something that's gonna keep you moisturized for the rest of the day let's go ahead and apply this i like to apply this on my finger first and then put my palms together and apply that on my face so when applying this i like to go in circular motion and make sure every single part of my face is moisturized don't forget your forehead and your neck some people like to go upward like that so they can massage their skin you can use a gua sha if you don't know what that is i'm gonna insert that on screen and just massage your face upwards And do you guys see the glow that this gives you it's actually insane 
since this is a nighttime skincare routine we're not gonna add any sunscreen um, after moisturizer but if it was during the day I like to go in with this Innisfree um, sunscreen this is a daily UV defense and it's in SPF 36 anything above 30 SPF is a good sunscreen um, my alternative to this Innisfree sunscreen is actually the black girl sunscreen that sunscreen is actually my go-to I just ran out so I got this Innisfree to try it is very glowy it looks very good under makeup and it protects you from the sun rays all day long you can get the 50 SPF but for me I usually get the 30 SPF because it has a very glowy formula to it so yeah if you're doing your morning skincare routine please make sure you add a sunscreen please let's avoid skin cancer so my last step is to add a lip mask or a lip balm of any kind you can do Vaseline I love to use the Laneige lip mask this is my favorite 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 product ever when it comes to skincare it keeps my lips very hydrated all through the night like I sleep and in the morning when I wake up my, my lips are not dry they're still very yummy and supple and hydrated so let's go ahead and apply this on my lips to complete this skincare routine it smells really good too the one that I use is in the scent berry so it smells really really good this is the only product that I use that it actually has fragrance in it all my other products not no 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 fragrance that's a no go zone when it comes to actual skin that is it for this video if you guys enjoyed this video please let me know in the comments like make sure you're subscribed and share this video with your friends so they can know how to do their skincare properly and yeah i will see you guys in my next video bye bye